open the page. I don't want to hear you say that. Put that umbrella around the ones take it off you. Warum? When the going gets tough, how can teaching assistants be of most use to a teacher under pressure? John Bailey is working with two TAs, V. Henry and Sharon Collins, at Bishop Stopford School in Enfield. If I come to work here and I'm a good teacher, um, what would you expect from me? What sort of things would I do? Just run your mind over the, the teachers that you find useful to work with. What, what is it they do? They make your presence known in the classroom. The kids know why you're there. The kids know who you are. The kids know your name. And the teacher also interacts with you. OK, very good. What else? I think the teacher's got firm discipline to the classes, knows where they stand and, and knows that the teacher has authority in their classroom. That makes... Yes. Lessons go a lot smoother. <laughs> OK, let's concentrate on the work. Sharon and V work on different days with RE teacher Flora Hoori, who's only recently qualified herself. Bags off, pens out. Although Flora welcomes their support, they both believe they could be more involved, especially when 9B3 are at their worst. Edna, in your seat, please. Edna, I don't want to sit there. Edna, my love, in your seat. Reese, Reese, just in the corner. Reese, my love, how are you feeling? It's really nice to see you. Take a seat for me, pen out. Terry, in your companies, you are a little bit late. So you need to get the seat. Junior, jacket off. Jacket bag. B's a recent university graduate who hopes to eventually teach herself. She's been at the school for three months and has yet to receive any formal training. Tell me about this class. What are they like? They're quite noisy, but at the same time, they're lively. And I think in a, that's a good thing because at least it means that they want to learn, they want to interact. I think the worst thing is to go into a classroom where the kids are just sitting there looking and they don't want to do anything. All three believe in one God, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. OK, who has another idea about text? They read from a book. You two, come on. Let's concentrate. I want you to draw the map of Israel, please. Here you are at the back of the room, and the impression I'm getting, V, this is your target child here, Yes. Uh, and I think you're probably going to spend 90% of your lesson with him. Is that right? Have I got...? Um, I have started to, yeah. OK, now... Talk me through what's good and what's bad about that. What's good is that um, when I'm around him, I'm also around, there's a boy next to him and also Corey. So I get to work with those three. And then you've got Reese on the other side who likes to have a lot of conversations across the classroom. Reese, can you write that aim down, please? That's good. Can you write that aim down, please, Reese? Thank you. So if I've got his attention and I'm making sure he's doing the work, then I can stop some distraction in the front also. But the bad thing is that then the rest of the class are getting neglected. If they do need some um, extra help, I'm then not there to notice it and help them. Sharon has four children and wants to become a higher level TA. Mm. What's so important about because it's been there since the Middle Ages, and um, one of the king's ashes was scattered there. OK, I'm going to start to go to Harold II. The River Ganges is considered holy, and many Hindus go to Washington, and after... Would you reckon to get round most of the children in a class during a lesson? Do you have any... a, a plan of...? Um, I don't have a plan as such, but, no, I will, yeah, try and, and look at most of the kids and see what they're doing. They listen to you, um, they engage with you, mm -hmm. and you look to me like you have authority. Is that right? Yeah, no, yeah, I do feel, yeah, confident. They're going to sit. Well, they go sit when they go sit when they go on pilgrimage. But if they go to St. Lourdes, they might go to see the Virgin Mary statue. Does it mean that if there was more structured group work, there would be more for you to do? Before we did structured group work in the last scheme of work, and, and there was more where you can sit down and work with the kids and try and encourage them and try and explain things. OK. James, if you can hand these out for me. Having understood some of their frustrations, John's keen to get Flora's perspective. OK, you need to, you're here to learn. We've started a new topic that's really exciting. 
It's a really exciting time to be here, Vanessa. No, it's not. Okay. I'm sorry you've done that. Way. Close your mouth. Pencil. Look Pencil. this Pencil. way. Pen down. Pen down. Close your mouths. Looking this way. Pens down. Close your mouths. Looking this way. Pens down. The thing I notice about this school is there's quite a bit of shh, 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 as though the children are a kind of volcano and you sort of, you, you ride on top of them, but, you know, be careful, any minute they might blow. Yeah, um, often. Yeah, and um, I'm, I'm, so I'm very interested in this idea of an atmosphere and, and how adults can work together. Praise comes into atmosphere as well. You know, this is a, I'm, I'm happy because I'm getting points and stickers. Uh, I might also be happy because there's music during the on-task phase. The stimulus material, uh, we're talking about um, holy spots, and um, someone um, has found some material from YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got 30 seconds at the Wailing Wall. And um, we might have quizzes to start and finish. How much of creating that atmosphere could be part of your job? Things like being used as a starter and plenary. I mean, that, that, is, that is one of the roles that many TAs get to do. Um, so being able to, yeah, start the lesson with an activity or, or finish it with a quiz where they can, um, you know, get points, then they, they definitely like that. OK, here we go. John's impressed with Flora's occasional use of positive affirmations but thinks they could be used more widely. Good, fantastic. Lovely work. I wonder why other people can't go round with a sticker. Um, I wonder if there can't be a, a wider um, distribution of mm -hmm. responsibility for managing the behaviour. Yeah. Um, I could imagine a situation where you might not only have more than one person giving out the stamps and stickers, but you might even have a set of, of, of routines or expectations in your class that you all enforce. Are you certain? Ah, region. OK, fantastic. Thank you very much. Good. Edna, what's the next one? Continent. What continent is Israel in? Good. It's in the continent of Asia. Come and move it for me. Emmanuel didn't get to do it last lesson. If you got it, give yourselves a tick. I also notice about this class, that they enjoy that kinesthetic activity. They like um, shoving things around on the board. Yeah. Can if, I come up? Can I come yeah. up? It was amazing. And in fact, they like discussion. When you ask them questions, they, they, they want to give you the answer. So I noticed all that about them. But they don't listen to each other. They don't listen to each other, they like to shout at each other. We've got to train them again to listen to each other. They won't listen to each other unless we give them a reason to listen to each other. You know how today you got Emmanuel, you made him Monitor. help? That helped, I think, giving a lot of the kids who are quite troublesome that, um, a key role in the classroom, that helped a lot because he actually went around yeah. and... Because he, he's got a lot of authority, a lot of people look up to him and they would do as he says. Using him as a positive role model, yeah. it had an effect, yeah, and I did. think that was really good. Yeah, and you don't want to lose your role as monitor, that kind of thing. Yeah, that, yeah I was surprised at how that worked. Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 And I, f I find it difficult to know how to get it right. I'm really scared of group work with this class. I think it... I, I think it's looking at the dynamics. If the season plan's laid out mm. so that you can have children in their groups almost already without moving them, that does make it easier, maybe, but... I'm thinking about this business of taking risks in a classroom. You know, like when you were saying, yeah, I've tried group work before, but, you know... Pfft. Sometimes, yeah. and sometimes, yay, when they each had a role, mm -hmm. it really worked. Yeah. So, and I think that's the way you train them. Yeah, that's that structure By thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, very good, very good. Yes, that's excellent. Yeah. Is it easier to take risks when there's two adults trying stuff together? Yeah, I think so, but it relies on the teacher being organised enough in advance to say more than five minutes before the beginning of the lesson, 
right, we're doing this today. <laughs> and we're going to try this group work and see what happens. I'd like to come back in a week and see what you're all doing. The following week, and today, Sharon's working with Flora. Flora's taking John's advice to plan out low-level disruption by using a number of activities and relying more on her TAs. These are the clues for your word search. OK, the first one, Muslim language spoken in Israel is Arabic. And if you go from here, from that area... And then... Sharon has researched and prepared the starter and is giving out more praise. Yeah, that's it, you found it, more them. The working atmosphere is improved with a clip from YouTube. With Sharon's help, Flora's being more adventurous, engaging learners through role play. Listen carefully. Each of you is going to be a different kind of Jew in your groups, and you're going to say what you think about Jerusalem. So... After chatting in their groups, students will present their characters to the class in the form of a TV discussion programme. So, Kelvin, it might be better to be in different groups. It might be better to be in different groups, because then it's a bit more mixed up. That group's got six. This has only got three. I don't know. So let's move somewhere. Right, you need to work together. Come on, Harry, how are you getting on? How are you getting on? All right, Reese, come on. Reese, look, you could be a Holocaust survivor. Or you could be a, a Sharadi, which is a really strictly orthodox Jew. Remember, the Holocaust was after the, the World War, when all those people got killed by Hitler in the gas chambers. Because we're a Jewish people. Yeah, millions of people were killed, weren't they? Jews were killed. OK, because you're not sacrificing anymore. OK, documentary number one, off we go. Hello, welcome to Channel One. Listening Mark. carefully. Today, I've brought three Jews to ask them about why is Israel so special to them. And I feel that Israel is special to me, because that's where King Hell revealed. And I've, shh, I think that Jerusalem is special to me because the temple was built there where I work. Thank you, well done. Tell me what you thought of that. Yeah, I thought parts of it were good. Um, some of them worked well together in the groups. There were some that decided, yeah, that they didn't want to work in the group and didn't want to participate. But then it was just trying to encourage them and, and that did seem to go well. What do you rely on Sharon for? I think maybe I don't rely on you enough. Um, I think I need to ask you more to combat low-level disruption, because there was one point where we were both focusing on Charlie's and that was really silly. That was my mistake. I should have just let it go. And I find it hard because I'm a bit of a control freak and I want to know what everything that, that everyone is focusing. I think I still haven't got it quite right in the classroom, but we're definitely talking much more before lessons and that mm. helps a lot. All right, you just need to draw the line. Good. We've got all these extra people that we need to think about. Yeah. <laughs> 